providing this bandit here for us. I want to thank everybody for coming here to honor the women that are being held hostage in, in abusive relationships where they are physically getting hit. And one of the things that I learned back in 1994 is that a man that was once an abuser, like myself, a woman physically, my mentor, uh, Phil Lane Jr. said, the only way you're going to get well, Curtis, if you call yourself out and say that you, you used to hit woman. I was in one relationship with one at the time that I did that. Back in, back in my early years of recovery and sobriety, I, I did that and I, I swore as a child that I never would. And I learned in counseling and, and uh, anger management back then that it's a learned behavior. I saw my uncles doing it, I saw my dad doing it. And then when I got into my first real relationship with a woman, it started happening with, within a year of the relationship. And I physically used to hit her and I was so devastated and she resented me for years for that but we had forgiveness about that and because of the journeys that, that I made to make a change in my heart about that that violence and my mentors have taught me to the only way that, we, that men can change that behavior is through accountability and honesty uh, you have to have a community to voice that that learned behavior as a man so I'm here not only for our beautiful beloved sisters and mothers and cookums and aunties I'm here with my brothers that walked in heels to say you know if you've done this or you're doing this please you can get help you can change the behavior as a man you know you, you can do it but can we need community we men are isolated with that behavior and they need mentorship they need to know that men are saying hey I, I used to hit woman or I'm hitting woman or I'm I'm hurting woman other men need to hear that they need to to hear that and we can't do that without men that start saying that, that you did this take responsibility for that so that's another reason why I'm here is to say that I, I used to do that and you know it still hurts I used to do that I used to hit a woman I had no help back then I didn't have a community to to, uh, to say hey help I need help and uh, it was the grandmothers and the cookums that with Laura, Laurel, I said that you, you women are resilient. You put up with a lot of abuse from us, physical and emotional abuse, and you still stand with us. So I hold my hands up for all those women, women that have stood strong throughout the last 30 years. Those first cookums that stood up 30 years ago in, in Saskatoon that said, "No more. We're sick of this. You can't hit us anymore." We can't do that anymore. So I'm letting you know that I, I know my old sister right now is in that situation. I can't do anything. I want to go and hurt that man. My mentor said you can't do that. So this is why I'm here too. Just for my own on, ongoing healing. So I, I thank you my brothers that put the heels on. And wear the ribbon shirts. Suffered all the way that last few blocks, man. <laughs> my feet hurt. Holy mackerel, my feet hurt. So, uh, Twitter, Facebook it, YouTube it, and challenge other men across North America and the world to throw some heels on and walk for a mile in women's heels to support stopping violence against our sisters, mothers, cookums, and everywhere so thank you for all the sisters that walked with us and thank you for all those kind words all the way up and all the way down all my relations Woo!